All right, what is up, dogs and doggets? Welcome back to the wonderful world of Heartcraft with your boy Heartdog25 right here in the flesh and in the pixels, I guess. Oh, yeah, pixel man. All right, so we're back on the pirate ship and it is about complete. So I just wanted to show you the end here. Um, I have been working diligently trying to get this thing done because uh, I want to move on to something else. And I get rid of all my, uh, my wood. I threw all my dirt overboard. Working on the dispensers and <laughs> all that dumb stuff. Uh, but I think the dispensers are finally done too. Hopefully. All right, so we just got to taper this in. And I want to go to that black uh, wool right here. That should be the end of it. Alright. And. Oh, that's good. Good move, Mr. Hot Dog. Oh, Hot Dog, you so funny. Alright. I think that's gonna. I think that's gonna finish up our sale. Come sail away. Come sail away. Now it looks kinda. Eh, I mean, it looks alright. I. I'm just, I'm just trying to build it uh, down and not go all the way out over here every time to look at it. We'll go take a look. But I think it's going to be done. I kind of don't want to do too much more on it. it. Actually doesn't look that bad from here. Um, let's go up here. Alright, you can, you can see the H. I don't know if it's big enough. To pull that boat. <laughs> it might not be. Um, you know, it's not bad. It might need to be bigger. It might need to be taller and come out more. I think that's what we have to do. Um, I can always work on it more off screen. Uh, it, it's going to be a lot of me falling. and I should grab... Oh, I know what I did. I put all my stuff in. The booty chest up here. Ah, I was using cobble earlier. Yeah, so it's gonna be a lot of me climbing up and down. Um, it's been kind of a a hassle, falling all the time. But I think it looks okay. We'll. I think I'll make it bigger. I definitely need to make it bigger and taller. So I can do that off screen. No big deal. I just wanted to show you uh, pretty much what it's gonna be. Um, and I wanted to finish this and kind of move on from the pirate ship, but I've been working pretty hard on it. Um, and I think I got the redstone ready, so I'll show you what I did. So I got the three front dispensers here uh, with the redstone. And I got redstone lined on the sides to go to all these. I think it works. I have not tried them. I loaded them up with some fire charges, but we're going to try it out right now. This ought to be interesting. Okay. So, we'll go first one. Oh, maybe I should hit the button. Oh, alright. <laughs> it lit the jungle on fire. I put fire charges in there, so it works. Yeah, get some vine. Get some burn. Yeah, dead vine. See if this one works. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. Get some tree. Yeah, burn, burn, says the hot dog. I will raid your jungle pine, or whatever type of tree that is, with my fire. All right, now this might cause a little damage to myself, but let's check it out. We'll see if it works. It did not work. What the H? What the heart dog? See if it lights up. It lights up. Is it just not connected to any of these? Oh, I think I know what's. I think I know what the problem is. Maybe. I don't think I can block this stuff off. Ah, uh, shoot. 
I am a very a very big novice when it comes to uh, uh, redstone. I have no idea what I'm doing. So, hmm. and of course, I put it all in the chest over here. Excellent. Come on, hot dog. I mean, I just I worked on it a little bit. I saw that the front ones worked. I did not test the left and right ones. I just saw it worked in the the hole. I guess I can see down there from the from the button. Let's see here. All right, so that. See, I don't. Um, can I have those connected? I don't really want them connected. That's the problem. That is the problem. What seems to be the problem? All right. Um, give me that. Let's see, maybe I can come this way with it. Stop growling. Stop growling in my ear. So maybe I just have to do this and this. Where's my button? A button for the win. Just wanna see if this works. Don't. Oh. So I don't need that one there. I think I might have to put the button right here. Give me that back. Huh. Well, well, well. We're going to just take out a few of these. I just, uh, oh, shoot. Can I hit the button from here? Almost. We'll make sure we can hit the button from here. See, does this not go to this dispenser? I want them to all fire at once. I made that jump just to fall down here. Excellent. You know what? This is not working. Yeah, because I put two in there. Does that have to, like, lead right into it? Ah, that'd be kind of dumb. Oh, my God. Those guys are driving me nuts. I mean, I guess I can do this. Just checking out a theory here, guys. All right, so I'll take that one out, that one out. Oops. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay. So here's the new plan. That's going to lead into that. I, I really don't know what I'm doing. I... I'm not very good at this stuff. So I'll do that. I don't need this here then. Don't need that. Uh, let's put that there. That there, that there. That and one block, perfect. All right, now. Oh, ah, I lost my stare. Oh no, there it is. It's staring right at me. Why? Why? Oh, I know what I did. Shoot. Rook. Yeah. I hope you're not coming here to learn how to do redstone. Because this is a poor showing. Um. Hmm. I'm stuck between a wood and a wood place. Oh, am 
I made that jump. Okay. Uh, and then I fell again. Oh, brother. Um, we'll do that. Go up this way. I didn't intend for this to be just uh, me muddling around with redstone. Uh, <laughs> um, episode, but it looks like that's what I might be turning out to be here. Here we go. There it fired him. There we fired him. Good. Ow, man. I don't want this to be here. It looks stupid. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, you know, we can work on this one. But I want to start answering the questions. I don't want this episode to be too long. Um, so I have to go downstairs and see what I did here. I don't have any more wood, though. Shoot. Maybe I got some wood in the chest. I used all my wood on this ship. Mungry's texting me. Hello. You stay over there, dude. Okay, well, I'll get to the questions. I'm going to axe a couple trees here. Uh, first question, Shrub Reaper. What's my texture pack and how much did it cost? I looked at the name of it and it didn't even give me a name. Um, it's... Uh, I mean, I might, uh, I can show a picture of it, hopefully. Um, but, I mean, it's just a, it's just a standard uh, texture pack. Um, like, the one that's not, like, the, the Mass Effect texture pack or all those other weird ones that you can get with this. It's just a, just a slightly uh, upgraded color scheme instead of like the the 64 bit you know this looks like more of a maybe 32 by 32 or what is this yeah 32 by 32 bit so that's why it doesn't look as blocky and it looks a little bit better um, I don't know what the name of it is and it cost me a dollar you know I spent a whole dollar on it and I Definitely got my money's worth. I mean, it looks a lot cooler. I, I used the, the vanilla one for the longest time. And it was it was fine, but I needed a change. And this one provided a pretty good change. So, um, I hope that kind of answers your question. I know it really doesn't, but... Um, but it, um, if you do get different texture packs, I know you're playing on a, a handheld device. Um, it might be one of the first ones that is available uh, but I'm not sure so <laughs> um, sorry to be not much help but uh, that's yeah you know, I don't I don't I don't know the name of it, it doesn't give a name unfortunately um, so next questions uh, from Metroplex smash who do I like better Thundercracker or Skywarp or Rumble now I'm gonna have to go with my bad boy Rumble Cause he just runs in with his, with his huge like punching claw hands and just destroys stuff, you know. And you know you got to hand it to him, you got to claw it to him, you know. He knows how to destroy stuff, and I mean it kind of stinks he's got to answer to uh, Soundwave, but I think Soundwave is a good host for him, you know. I think um, Rumble would have moved out a long time ago along with Laserbeak, you know, if there was trouble. So I think things are going well. In that world, and that's why I want to be Rumble. I want to be Rumble. Um, let's see what I did there. Okay, open that up. Uh, man, trying to duplicate this stuff is. Paul, I just want to destroy like part of my land here. Um. First, we're going to block that off. Is that how I did it there? It must be, yeah. Alright. I'm going to take my button back. Button masher. Um, like that, like that. 
I mean, it's gonna. I want it to equal. That did not work. Uh, oh, I know why. And I'm stuck in here. All right. I got enough wood to make this happen. Okay, second question as I do this from Metroplex. If, I, <laughs> if a freak accident occurs to me and I had to build my body out of uh, different transformers uh, What would those transformers be and I'm assuming what what parts I I added that part in uh, What parts of those transformers would you want? So I'm gonna go with the body of Metroplex the voice box of Bumblebee Jazz's hands because I want jazz hands. Yeah, and then Megatron's will you know his mind he never gives up and he, you know, he, he fought like a two million year war or whatever it was with the Autobots. It's like, man, you got to have some tenacity, you know what I mean? So, I want his will, his passion, and then I want, uh, like I said, I want the jazz hands, Metroplex body, and the voice box of Bumblebee so I can beep and be annoying to people. Even though in Rise of the Dark Spark... <laughs> Somehow Swift can understand Bumblebee. Why don't they just translate that? You know what I mean? Why don't they just translate that on the screen to what he's saying? And be like, of course, Bumblebee. Good idea. It's like, come on. All right. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. My tree. Ah. My tree. My beautiful tree. Come on. Let me out of here. Oh, my God. Tree. Oh, that's not the beautiful tree. I thought it was my big tree. I thought it was that huge one over there. Oh, it was. Oh, shoot. All right. Well, we're going to decapitate. Ah, we don't have, yeah, yeah, we'll decapitate this one. Goodbye, tree. I need to replace. I need a, I need a transplant here. Transplant your wood with another tree. An injured brethren over here. Oh, that's brilliant. Aha! Gosh darn it. Why, oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why? New plan. We're gonna do this. Good plan, Hark Dog. Save the tree. Plant a tree. Trees for America. Mr. John Denver. Yada, yada, yada. All right. It's back in business. So I got the big trees here. I like them. Okay, next question. So that works. Yeah, that sail needs to go up higher. I think you know it needs to go all the way to the crow's nest. Oh, I didn't even put ladders up there. Man, I'm just failing here. Just failing. But let's go to next questions as we go along. Uh, from Storm Flash. He's got a bunch. I'm going to only answer his, uh, his A questions. Because uh, he had two sections. He had questions labeled as A. And he had questions labeled as B. Anything in here? Nothing. Okay. We got to make some sticks. We need ladders. Whole lot of ladder going on. Alright. That should be enough. Okay. First question. Uh, choose who I would be, Inferno or Hotshot, and this is based on honor, which has more honor, or who is more honorable, um, you can go either way with that question, and I, I did a little bit of research, because, I mean, honestly, I don't know all the Transformers, I wish I did, I don't know as much as a lot of you, a lot of you guys out there know, um, come on. We gotta go up here to Crow's Nest. Here! Okay, we made it. Wow. Can I jump? I can't jump up there either. There we go. Huh. 
Ah, it's frustrating. Why do you do that? Oh my, I think I almost fell. Oh, I'm stuck outside now. Um. All right, we'll just bust this. We'll bust that one for now. <laughs> I thought I was gonna fall. I just thought for sure I was dead. All right, so we'll grab that. We'll go up. Crow's nest. Ooh yeah. Ooh, check out the world. Looks pretty cool from out here. And the fort. Should I put like a bridge to the fort? Ah, I don't know about that. It'd be too easily accessible. Okay. Um, so I looked up uh, Inferno and Hotshot. Um, and Inferno is like very, very honorable. Um, always thinks ahead. Always very uh, cautious. Does the right thing. Cares for others. So he's got a lot of honor. And then Hotshot, who was bad, didn't listen to anybody, was kind of a rogue, and then turned into um, a good, a good leader. Um, and I mean, a con, a pro for that is that he knows both sides. He knows, you know, um, you know, he was young once and did stupid things, you know, like we all do. So I mean, he's got that going for him, so he can relate. Um, so I would have to go Hotshot. I just, ha I just have to go Hotshot on this one. He's, he's the man. You know, he's like, it sounds like, uh, Inferno is kind of like a little, is a little too, a little too stuck up. A little too high on himself. You know, infallible, even though he cares for others. You know, I don't know. I just gotta go hot shot. Okay, so second question. Which Decepticon, uh, would I rather work with? Demolisher or Snowcat, who was originally called Cyclonus? Uh, this is the easy one. When I looked it up. I would I'd rather be Demolisher, um, just cause Snowcat or Cyclonus is crazy and unreliable and kind of a uh, a hellion, and you know, it doesn't listen too well, doesn't take orders too well. So I would have to go with uh, Demolisher for that question. I will answer the next couple questions um, in the next Heartcraft. The next Heartcraft may be, it'll probably be later next week. Uh, I am going to record the first trial with uh, So Mungry tonight. And I hope to get that out next week to you guys. Um, it should be a lot of fun. I, he hasn't played since, <laughs> since in a long time. Um, since we did the whole Mungcraft episodes. Oh god, it had to be way back in October. Last year maybe? October. November maybe somewhere it was almost a year ago when he that's probably the last time he played uh, Minecraft so yeah, it's gonna be pretty funny I'm sure he's gonna die a lot he's sure he's gonna get frustrated but should be able to get it through um, and have some fun should be good and then I will bring that episode to you I will be doing it as well the run through as well and all oh, that tree poor tree yeah, I think the ship looks pretty good. Um, and then there's also, and I'll go through the whole thing. I did like a, I'll do a slow mo pan like montage. I'll put some, some of my own guitar riffs over like the mantra montage and intro on the setup of, uh, the trial or the the challenge, uh, which is going to be called the maze. No, 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 no. Maze Tower Downfall, Maze Tower Chasm, something like that. I'll think of a good name. I had a better name, but I'm, it's slipping my mind right now. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Heartcraft. Um, I look forward to bringing you the first challenge next week. Um, and I hope you all have a great weekend. Uh, it's Friday right now and I'm recording this. So uh, leave a like for the weekend and for Heartcraft. And also remember to subscribe and comment and leave your questions below for me to answer next week in the next HeartCraft. Take care, everybody.